He's known around the world as Joe Exotic. As we've already reported, he's now sitting in the Santa Rosa County Jail. Tonight, Joe Maldonado Passage explains why he's here. Now, Tanner Stewart spoke with the man behind the Netflix hit Tiger King. And Tanner, this isn't the first time you've spoken with him. It's not, Bob. On Friday, I received a call from an inmate at Santa Rosa County Jail, and it was, in fact, Joe Maldonado Passage, or Joe Exotic, as he prefers to go by. He wanted to discuss his recent transfer here to Northwest Florida and a number of other topics. We continued our conversation today. This is a prepaid debit call from an inmate at the Santa Rosa County Sheriff's Office. Hey, Tanner. Joe Exotic is in town awaiting a hearing for a multi-million dollar copyright infringement case he filed. He tells me the conditions inside Santa Rosa County are similar to other institutions where he's been housed. Everyone lives like river rats. Okay, there's people sleeping on the floor. The, the meals are crap. Uh, it, it's, it's not even real meat. Uh, the, the portions are extremely small. And this is everywhere. This is not just Santa Rosa County, okay? This, this is everywhere. The bigger story, though, is his eventual return to federal prison in Fort Worth, Texas, where he's serving a 21-year sentence for what he calls a bogus murder for hire charge and various animal charges. He called me again today to discuss why he says the hit series that garnered him millions of fans around the world, in his words, couldn't be further from the truth. And you feel strongly that Tiger King on Netflix is, is a, a heavy influence on your federal prison sentence? Oh, definitely. That's where Eric Good went wrong, was he was so interested in making a drama murder, a murder movie that he paid everybody. Within a month of its release, Netflix reported nearly 65 million households had watched the series. Not all are fans, as many are upset over his alleged abuse of animals in his care. He says those claims were fabricated by the woman he was convicted of hiring a hitman to kill. Now, I don't know where anybody's getting this animal abuse stuff except from Carol Baskin because I took baby cubs away from their parents and she called that abuse. The federal game warden did not charge me with animal abuse or animal cruelty. He charged me with taking an endangered species without a permit. I put them to sleep with a gun. It happened in a split second. They, they, they had no pain, no suffering, and I'm not ashamed of what I did. Just over a year ago, Exotic made headlines again, this time announcing his run for President of the United States. I asked him about this. He acknowledged his candidacy may not be taken seriously, but offered a reason for why it matters. Honestly, uh, you know, I'm, I am running for office, and I think that you're going to be very shocked on the 23rd how many people show up and how many people are actually going to write Joe Exotic on their ballots this year because I'm basically considered the no vote and people are sick and tired of the corruption in D.C. Uh, so rather than just not go vote, they're going to take a stand and write Joe Exotic in on their ballot. A question many want to know is if the day comes that Joe Exotic is released early from prison, will he once again step face to face with big cats? His answer might surprise you. Not anyone can walk in a cage with 20 full-grown lions and tigers and lay down on the ground in there and love on them without getting hurt. And I never got hurt. But when I get out, uh, it's, it's going to completely change. Joe Exotic's upcoming hearing April 23rd. He says after his transfer back to federal prison, he expects a decision on his appeal before the end of the year. In the studio, I'm Tanner Stewart.